made it and we are picking day 13 of 30 inks 30 days I really want this to be an ink that I really want to love I want it to be a red or a brown or a purple or one of the six standard bindery samples that I know are in this box that I haven't grabbed yet because that's that's what I want 13 is my favorite number and um, this should be my favorite day and this should be my favorite ink and that's just the way it's gonna roll. No, I'm just kidding. It doesn't have to be my favorite anything, but I'm throwing it out there to the ink gods that that is what I would like to choose today. I am going to now close my eyes and look the other direction because closing my eyes is not enough. And um, I'm going to rummage through this box and then I'm going to pick an ink sample and hopefully it is an excellent one. I mean, they're all excellent ones. They wouldn't be in this box if they weren't, but yes. Okay, we're closing, we're looking away and we are Still, we still have our eyes closed. We are still looking the opposite direction. Um, um, yeah, so we're gonna pick an ink and um, we're gonna hope it's a good one. And I'm just gonna go and pick this one. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna see if you can at least see in the frame what it is. I think you can, I'm not sure. And I'm gonna move this box now and um, yeah, figure out what I'm gonna do. Okay, if you are familiar with um, the last ink draw, I splattered ink everywhere and needed to clean my table off, so I now have new washi tape. And um, yeah, so anyway, so this was day 12's ink, Dye Mine Deep Dark Green, and as I'm pre-filming these, this current selection because it's the weekend, I have not done anything with this ink other than doing this um, this little page. So we're gonna go ahead and flip the page. I think this is dry. Yeah, and actually one thing, you probably can't see it because my lighting sucks, but it kind of has like a like a really dark sheen. Looks like it's like a black sheen on some of it. So that's pretty cool. Yay, I'm excited to use this. Or I was very excited to use this, it was amazing. I am like really bad at like faking this. So, I, <laughs> so we're just gonna move on. Anyway, so we have a new day and we are going to pick, or let's see what ink we chose. I have no idea what pen I'm gonna put this in. I have a few off to the side, um, but I don't know what ink it is. So let's see. We have Vaness. No, it's not Vaness. It's Robert Oster Go Go, which is a sample that I ordered from Vaness. And because this is a purple ink, I'm gonna go ahead and use my um, amazing pen. This is the most expensive pen I've ever purchased. This is an Aurora Nebulosa. 888 or an Aurora 888 Nebulosa. Um, it's the Aurora 88 model. They called it an 888 because it's um, they only made 888 of them. The, um, I have a number, I don't know if you can see this. Am I zoomed in? Did I zoom in? Yes, I did. Um, this I have number 572 of 888. I bought this pen because it was going away it was becoming scarce to find and I earned a work bonus because I've been at my job for a certain number of years and after a certain number of years they um award you with a bonus to do things with and um yeah so I got my bonus and one of the things I bought with my bonus was this pen I thought it would be a great reminder of having worked at my job for as long as I have and um I wanted this pen <laughs> So yes, so I don't think this pen is available anymore unless maybe you get lucky and find it on eBay or something um, or find somebody selling it. I actually um, really need to send it in because my nib is a little scratchy. I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna work with it anyway, um, but it's a little scratchy and I wanna get it tuned and um, the person that I wanted to get it tuned by is um, now accepting, um, is now accepting pens so I'm probably going to use this on the 13th and um, then I'm going to um, go ahead and um, clean it out and uh, find out what I need to do to get this work done. I just want it smoothed and the person that did another one of my pens um, did that did that pen off pictures of me holding this pen and they're familiar with this brand of pen and I just really want them to do the work on it so um, yeah, that's gonna be fun to do. Um, yeah, so this is, like I said, the most expensive pen I've ever, I have in my collection. And um, 
it's a great memento of having accomplished being at one company for as long as I have been. And it's just, it means a lot to me. Um, and it's beautiful and it's purple. And it's the 13th and I picked a purple ink. So let's go ahead and ink this sucker up. This is a piston um, and it has like a cool, in case you didn't know anything about the 88, um, it has a cool thing. Oh God, is this dirty? Mother trucker. Okay, this needs a little bit more of a bath, so I'm gonna pause this and then I'm gonna come back and then we're gonna fill our ink. Okay, I've cleaned it out a little bit. So as I was saying, this pen has um, a little ink reservoir that if you have, it kind of slides up the rest of the piston and if there's any ink in there, it will kind of like give you a little extra writing room. And um, yeah, I probably, I shouldn't fill this with, because I have like water in it still and it'll probably dilute the ink a little bit, but um, I'm impatient and I don't want to wait and I need to get this done because I don't know how much time I have left. So we're gonna go ahead and ink this. And as always, I'm gonna fill from my sample. And I don't care if it's a full fill as long as it's enough to work with, but I don't think that will be a problem. And then we're gonna wipe our pen off. But yes, I adore this pen and I don't write with it as often as I should or want to because there's like a nib issue. Somehow it's scratchy and I think the tines are misaligned but I also want it to be a little wetter and a little, um, a little smoother. And um, Aurora's are known for feedback and I, I knew that going in but I want this, the person that did my last pen did such a great job with it that I want him to work on this one. And this is a meat, this is actually a medium nib, but um, I don't think I put the nib sizes on any of them. I think I mentioned it, but I didn't write it on any of the sheets. So I'll have those written before I post it online or at least on Instagram. Um, 20, oops, not 2000. And this is day 13. Today is um, my stepdad's birthday. So happy birthday, stepdad. And the ink is rubber duster. Go, go, and the pen. It's a medium nib. You might be able to hear, I don't know if you can, the um, little scratchiness it's scratchier when I go this way um, than it is when I go it's scratchy going this way but not so scratchy going that way and that's kind of generally my sense of being left-handed but um, yeah I just want to make sure that it's not messed up as I write with it for the day but um, yeah ink spot this one because I'm just not going to. I'm sorry. I will go ahead and do this though. This is a pretty purple. It's almost a little too cool of a purple. Like <laughs> purple locks and the three purples and the three inks, but um, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess I like plummier, I don't know. It's pretty though. I like this better than Aurora purple. I should have put Aurora purple in here actually. Um, no, I like like this purple, but this actually goes pretty well. It's a little, it's like a lighter version. It's like in the chatoyancy bits. Chatoyance, yeah, that's a word, right? Um, yes. I love this pen so much. Here, let me get out. Let me stop blocking the light so you can see it. God, it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So this is gonna be fun to write with on um, Monday, April 13th, so yay. 
Alrighty, I'm gonna get going now and I will see you again tomorrow with another ink pick. Except this one will be a little more timely and I'll be able to talk about all the rest of these inks. We'll recap them. All the rest of these inks that I chose. Oh, I'm so excited. These next few days are gonna be awesome. All right, anyway, um, this was fun and I look forward to seeing you again very soon and I hope that you have had a wonderful weekend and I hope you, excuse me, have a great week and I um, will see you tomorrow with another ink pick. All right, take care, love you, bye.